In recent years, many analysts have compared the Russian Sukhoi Su-57 stealth fighter with the American Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. However, this comparison lacks logic, as the Su-57 and F-35 are fighters designed for different operational roles. The Russian fighter is intended for air superiority, multi-role offensive operations, and ground strikes, with an emphasis on speed, range, and diverse weaponry. As for the American stealth flagship, it is designed to perform stealth operations, network-centric warfare, precision strikes, and intelligence gathering, with a focus on stealth and sensors. In reality, the Su-57 is directly comparable to the Lockheed Martin slash Boeing F-22 Raptor. Although the latter is designed for precision and air superiority, it is the most direct competitor to the Russian Felon, NATO designation for the Su-57. But is there something in which the Russian fighter outperforms its American counterpart? It turns out there is, and that is in massive offensive operations. Find out how and why. Two different philosophies. The Russian Su-57 and the American F-22 Raptor embody fundamentally different approaches to fifth-generation fighter design. The development of the F-22 began in the 1980s, when the US sought an air superiority aircraft capable of overpowering Soviet MiG-29s and Su-27s. The program, officially launched in 1991, aimed to create a fighter with unmatched stealth characteristics and maneuverability. Lockheed Martin delivered the first F-22 in 2005, with an emphasis on radar evasion and precision in combat conditions. In contrast, the Su-57 entered development in 2002 through the PAC-FA program, with its first flight in 2010. Russia aimed for a fighter that combines stealth with significant firepower and long range to address a wide range of threats. Doctrinally, the U.S. prioritizes technological superiority and integration. The F-22 relies on networked systems and sensors like the ANAPG-77 AESA radar to ensure informational advantage. Russia, on the other hand, emphasizes physical durability and versatility. The Su-57 integrates larger weapons bays and diverse armaments to engage multiple targets. While the F-22 is optimized for short, surgically precise strikes, the Su-57 is designed for prolonged operations in complex theaters. These differences reflect strategic priorities. The U.S. seeks dominance through precision, while Russia focuses on massive offensive power. Radar cross-section versus spectral masking. The F-22 Raptor employs an advanced design for minimal radar cross-section (RCS) achieving an RCS of 0.0001 square meters. Its flat surfaces and absorbing coatings make it nearly invisible to radars. The Su-57, while stealthy, has an RCS of around 0.5 square meters, making it more detectable. The Russian fighter compensates with infrared masking and electronic jamming systems, reducing visibility in other spectra. According to Defense News, the F-22 excels in radar stealth, but the Su-57 offers a broader approach to concealment. Engines in supersonic cruise The F-22 relies on two Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines, providing supercruise at Mach 1.82, without afterburners, conserving fuel and extending range. The Su-57 uses AL-41F1 engines, with plans for the more powerful Isdel AF-30, but it currently does not support stable supercruise. Aviation Week notes that the F-22 has a clear advantage in efficiency during sustained supersonic flight, while the Su-57 relies on afterburners for high speeds. Maneuverability, Thrust Vectoring and Low Speed Control Both fighters feature thrust vectoring, 
but the F-22 uses two-dimensional nozzles for more precise control. The Su-57 employs three-dimensional thrust vectoring, providing a slight edge in complex maneuvers. At low speeds, the Su-57 performs better due to its optimized aerodynamic design, according to Flight Global. However, the F-22 maintains better control in dynamic air combat. Offensive Potential of the Su-57 The Su-57 boasts an impressive arsenal for offensive operations. The R-77M air-to-air -air missile engages targets at 190 kilometers, providing superiority in long-range combat. The KH-59 MK-2, designed for ground strikes, offers precision at up to 290 kilometers. According to Jane's Defense Weekly, the Su-57 can integrate hypersonic missiles like the KH-47M-2 Kinzhal, which strike targets at speeds exceeding Mach 10. This arsenal enables the Su-57 to engage diverse targets effectively. Compatibility with UAVs and drone swarms The Su-57 is designed to operate with unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, like the Okotnik. This integration enables coordinated attacks, where the Su-57 controls a swarm for reconnaissance or strikes. According to Flight Global, the Okotnik can carry weapons or serve as a sensor platform, enhancing the Su-57's firepower. This compatibility increases tactical flexibility in complex combat scenarios. F-22 designed for a different era. The F-22 Raptor, introduced in 2005, was designed for air superiority in the Cold War era. Its hardware, while advanced, limits modernization possibilities. According to Aviation Week, the F-22's architecture complicates the integration of new sensors and weapons, as its systems are optimized for specific tasks. For example, adding modern radar modules requires costly modifications. The Su-57, developed later, has a more flexible design, allowing future upgrades, making it more adaptable to new technologies. The Su-57 evolves from a standalone fighter to a key element in network-centric swarms. Its integration with the Okotnik UAV enables coordinated attacks, where drones perform reconnaissance or strikes. Flight Global notes that the Su-57 can control swarms, sharing data via systems like Strelets. This enhances tactical flexibility, but Russia's network infrastructure lags behind Western systems, limiting its full potential. The F-22, while superior in network integration, is constrained by closed software and halted production. The Su-57 offers an innovative concept for mass warfare through swarm integration and versatility, but the F-22 retains an advantage in network-centric precision. The choice depends on strategic priorities, 